video, we took a look at the mail reproductive system. Watch that if you haven't done so, so that you know what the different functions of the male, like different parts of the male reproductive system do. In this video, let's take a look at the female reproductive system. Like the last video, this is the view from the side, so as if you were standing on the left side of the woman, and this is the view from the front, so if you were standing in front of the woman. Alright, the vagina. So it's a muscular tube that leads up to the uterus where the male's penis will enter and put sperm. So the vagina is like this gap or hole in the body where the penis can enter and deposit sperm. The cervix is a ring of muscle that holds the developing embryo inside of the uterus. So it's inside, deep into the vagina, and it holds the developing embryo that's inside the uterus. The uterus, or alternatively known as the womb, is where the embryo grows. So once fertilization occurs, it's where the embryo can grow into a baby. The uterus lining, I would rather learn this than this endometrium, Either one is fine, but I would prefer the uterus lining because it's just easier to pronounce. The uterus lining is the wall of the uterus which has a good blood su supply so that the embryo can implant into it and grow, so that the baby can develop. It has a good wall with a good b blood supply so that it can have lots of blood and energy that it needs. So, why would having a good blood supply be important for the growth of the embryo? Well, you're growing a new human being. You're going to need a lot of energy, a lot of blood, everything, nutrients. So having a good blood supply is crucial to the development of an embryo. The ovary, it produces and stores the ova, the eggs, and releases the sex hormones. So it produces the eggs. So eggs and the sperm will meet together and they will produce, a, they will fertilize first, and they will produce an embryo, which then grows and grows over months, almost a year, I think, into a baby. The fallopian tube, also known as the oviduct, is what connects the ovary to the uterus, uterus, and it's lined with the ciliated cells that will move an ovum along it. So, once, if fertilization occurs, it will move it along the fallopian tube, and this is where the fertilization occurs, if it occurs. So we've got the excretory, excretory organs, I can't pronounce it, excretory organs. Now, excretion is the releasing of waste from our body, right? So excretory organs are going to be the organs that release waste. So these have nothing to do with intercourse or fertilization or human reproduction. Bladder, urethra, and the anus. So this is all for like anus, obviously that's for your second. Waste number two. And the bladder and the urethra, this is all going to be for your number one, urine. So let's take a look at the entire female reproductive system as a whole. We've got the fallopian tube that rem that moves the ovum along it once, and also fertilization also occurs here, if it occurs. So if semen enters, fertilization will occur here. The ovary, got the uterus, the endometrium, the cervix, and of course the vagina. I highly recommend re-watching this video so that you can learn all the different functions of these different parts of the female reproductive system. And that's pretty much all. Now gametes are a scientific term for sex cells. And we'll look at this in the next video.